Hey friends, hey. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Honestly, for real chat, it's many days later. Um, but I'm recording this intro for y'all, so welcome. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, Cami G, Kamaria, Mari, whatever y'all wanna call me. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how I achieved this look we're gonna go from installation oh oven's preheated we're gonna go from installation chad we're gonna touch base on track placement we're going to go over cutting and how i achieve these layers y'all we just gonna go over everything that y'all pretty much need to damn know okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video to get this video up for y'all <laughs> i'm determined to get this video up for y'all so um excuse me if i look crusty let's let's leave the camera there so let's go ahead get your coffee and let's go oh that's that coconut cold brew from trader joe's bomb but before we get started for real i better put something on these lips because Mm -mm. I'm already looking crazy by the head. Got a little titty nipple on my forehead. I'm going to use these red bundles. I know y'all were waiting on that side part. Um, quick weave. Y'all, I borrowed my sister's camera and the quality on that camera was piss poor. Um, it was like, it had a brown hue to it. It was making my hair look not the color that it was. Now, all of these tracks are already like pre-cut. So I'm gonna try to find the shortest track and start there. So I'm gonna keep sniffing, y'all. I have this thing when I first wake up, I sniff at least like 40,000 times until I'm ready to start my day. But um, So you get the glue on the track like this, on the same side that you previously had the glue. So I just have the glue on there like that. And like I said, I go from, I start all the way at the bottom of the black cap and I go from ear to ear. And then I press the ends down with my thumbs and then I take my two index fingers and I just push the rest of the track down. Okay, so we go from ear, back of the ear, to ear. So these are two smaller ones. I am just going to do the same thing ear to ear, but I'm gonna just do them half and half. I thoroughly believe in using every single track that we have available. Whether it's smaller, bigger, whatever. So I'm gonna take the first half, this piece and where I left off with the first one which is about like halfway I'm gonna just finish to the ear with this piece I'm gonna get up to about here but pretty much I'm just gonna go in with my tracks straight going all the way up actually I'm not, I don't even go straight I kind of curve them on top of each other kind of like this I'll show y'all halfway I just don't want to be like boring and repetitive doing the same step like over and over again so I'll show you one more time so when I say ear you see how I'm trying to I'm starting to go up with it ear to ear okay this is you know what I'm saying you're starting fresh so you just take the bundle and you're going to go right on top of where the last track was and like I said I like my um tracks to kind of be excuse me curved a little bit so then I just feel where the last one was okay and then I go 
up. Not too far up where you're all the way up here, but kind of just right here. Okay, to where your part is. It's just the whole process of a quick weave. Quick weave. Measure, cut, glue, place. Start, and I'm using y'all as my mirror because I don't have one in front of me. So I'm gonna start by here. Get all the way on the ground, so right on top of the track. Bam, right there. And you'll see why kind of curving them upwards makes a difference um, once we start getting closer to the top of the head. It'll all make sense. Measure from the parts, go around, it should touch other part. Y'all see how I'm like curving the tracks up? That way, if the wind blows, you don't see my last track. Wind blows, you don't see my last track. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna take the tracks like this until I get until I close where my part is. So we got the tracks all glued in. I really don't know what it looks like, but we have them all glued in, right? So y'all remember I had them, you know, these little piece of pieces of edges. I don't have no edges for real. But we're gonna make do with what God blessed us with. What God blessed us with and what I messed up. So then once I take the rubber band out, you see how even though, you know, I don't have no edge for real, it still kind of seems. I got more edges on this side than I have the other one. This is my leave out, all I left out. But you see how I did the tracks by curving them upwards. I barely needed a lot of hair out anyway. So then when I just push my leave out back, it's a seamless blend. I'm gonna just add a little bit of this. And then we add some hairspray. We're gonna make it super seamless. Super seamless. I'm just gonna add just a little bit for color. Okay, y'all. So this is where things get ghetto. I don't have any of my normal supplies because I am in the process of moving. So I still got, I have half stuff between two houses right now. So to cut the layers in my hair, we're gonna be using an eyebrow razor and a comb. Comb out this leave out. And as y'all can see, I'm not really working with a lot. So little sections just to blend my hair in. Um, I don't typically um, like to use product on my hair too much. And nine times out of 10, so this is raw hair. I could get my hair to blend in pretty seamlessly. My hair is not heat trained. I might also get that color dry like that. I'm holding it up. I'm just flipping it down. Okay. Getting it nice and silky, silky. Silky, milky. My leave out is so short that if I wanted to do those like bangs for a day with the curly hair, I could. The trick with layers is just cut the shit. What I typically do with my layers is I go down the middle and I put hair on each side, okay? Then when I do that, I start with the front piece about mm, the middle of the ear, whatever that is. I take about this much, but where is that? Kind of like the beginning of the ear, about here. And I comb it. And when I hold it, I hold my hair like this. And I look to see where I want my layers to start. I typically like my layers to start about chin length, which is here. So I'll take the razor. And try to get like a razor comb to get from beauty supply store. It makes it so much easier. I take the razor and then let me show you. So I start here. You see how I'm straight with it? For my layers, you want to go down, right? So I just take my hand, slant it, but that point still stays in my chin. So with the razor, you're going to cut down in a diagonal. 
like so. Okay, you should take off about that much hair. Okay, and remember we started here and we went down. Okay, so then you just comb them again and it might be a little tangly because like I said, we're using a razor. So you just comb it through. And we're only focusing on this front part. You look, if your layer's not clean, you stop from wherever the rate you think the razor stopped at and you just continue to go down, okay? Like I said, this is how I do my layers. Everybody can do their layers differently, okay? But you can already see the difference that we have here, okay? So I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side. Push the rest of the hair in the back. Like I said, don't worry about my bad guy job. Worry about y'all itch. Anyways, so with this one, it's gonna be the same thing. And sometimes, you'll see what I do. So I'm gonna go here, chin length, but I'm gonna arrow it down. So I'm always gonna start here, medium pressure, go down. Just how much hair? This might be a little longer. I'm just gonna cut some bad length off. Okay, so this is our guide, okay? Then what I like to do is I like to just check that the front two pieces are even. They look about even. I can clean this up a little bit more. Can y'all clean it up? If when you pull in the hair, the hair doesn't just fall out of place, that is a key indicator that you need to cut. So, so if I'm doing this, and I'll check it to see if layers are working and I go like this, hair should just fall out, if that makes sense. So if I'm trying to make sure this is at an angle and I hold my finger like this, hair should be dropping out of my hands. And that's how I know that my front face and layers are cool. So I'm gonna start with this and then all I do is I just go section by section with a razor and I just do light pressure and I use the chin length as a guide for me or sometimes I just go with a razor and like this y'all really lightly take off some of that weight grab another section and it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm just lightly taking off some of that weight Y'all see how just by me adding those subtle layers, it made the hair bigger. So look, this is the hair. It's a slight difference, but it makes a difference, I'm telling y'all. And then if I go like this, and it's not clean, I just go in, light pressure, remove some of that. Check the back. And this is the easy method for me without using shears. And this is just using what you have. The back is just as important as the front. So for the back, I like to do kind of longer layers. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that weight off. A little bit of that weight off. That's how much from the back. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just gonna repeat the same, I'm not a professional. I just do what works for me, okay? Take it, I'm taking some of that weight off. But you want your layers to make sense. So now if I curl my hair, my layers should start about here. If I want it shorter, which I like to go, bottom lip sometimes too. Comb it. Go up a little bit more. And we start there. Okay. Bottom 
lip. I'm just gonna go down. Let's take some weight off. And I promise y'all, that's literally all I do for my layers. Oops, I forgot the back on this side. Yeah, right here. Hold on. You see how over here ain't really, there's not a lot of layers in it? I go lightly, lightly. Take off some. Same thing with the back. Cause I hate when people like have all them layers in the front and nothing in the back. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part and that is to curl. Super easy, so let's so I'm gonna go in, finger comb it, or you can use a comb if you need to. These two, I'm gonna curl this way. Okay, so the front of the barrel is facing out. Feed it through one good time to warm up the hair strands. And then I am going to twist it into me. And as I'm twisting, I'm lightly pulling this down and adding more hair. Down, pull, turn. Down, pull, turn. And you're gonna keep doing that, excuse me, until all the hair is in the barrel. This one probably won't be perfect because I don't think I got the bottom piece of it in there. But then you're just gonna let it go. And it should look something like this. Sometimes I hold my curl. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, most of the times I don't. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. This is kind of a bigger piece. So if you, if you wanted to, you can split it into two sections. I like bad hair. <laughs> so I am going to pull the entire section through curling iron and then I am going to pull, swirl, and as I'm twirling I'm lightly clamping down, swirl, pull, swirl, pull, and when you pull it you kind of got to like pull and release and swirl. then I be trying to get like all of it in there so I'll go all the way up and then when I go up I just keep pressing it until I get all the hair in and I hold it for a few seconds and your curl should this is how your curl is supposed to look when you get all of the hair in with the pull and swirl this is what it looks like if you just leave an edge out so to get that in just go over it and if you curled it properly, the curl will just naturally adhere to the shape of the curler. You can spray hairspray, but that's another thing, y'all. I don't really use a lot of products in my hair. Because I don't like for my hair to be like weighed down or anything. And I think the layers really help with me not having to put in a lot of product in my hair. Because the barrel now is going to be facing the back. And then we're going to curl towards what this does is give you that volume in the front and I could just curl it up like that it gives you that volume that you need in the front and since I curled that one towards the face the next one is going to be away from the face my face so you put the um curling iron in like this and then you pull your hair through you swirl it towards your face you push a little bit swirl it towards your face push swirl it towards your face push and i'm just gonna do that all until i get all the hair in there i'm gonna let it sit piece is going to be away from my face. So keep the hair through. I'm getting a 
away. Once I get towards the top of the head, I typically just do all of the front pieces away from my face. That one came out too soon. Flip. Pull through. Flip. Pull through. For the beard part of my hair, I always pull everything up like this. As y'all can see, get it real smooth. And then feed it in about right there. I'll pull and swirl. I like to flip my head over and finger comb my hair. So I'm about to do that for you. If I got my BDBs out, my job is to be anti-black. So I flip my hair over and I kind of play with it. Run my fingers through it. Okay. Then I flip, pull forward. Now this is my guide. This is gonna tell me if I need to cut some more or what. Okay, and as y'all can see, we pretty much got it. Now, this part, I will probably go in and flat iron it again. And honestly, y'all, what I'm probably about to end up doing is adding another track in between here because that's just what I like to do. Uh, but once it is curled and you run your fingers through it, you can see if you need to add some more layers somewhere. Yeah, like I said, use your fingers as a guide. I just want to see something. If I wanted to do this look for a day, I would just curl my bangs and we'll just go like so, like that. If I really wanted to do that. Forward. Did end up going in with an extra track and it made my leave out blend so much better. Finger comb them apart. You can use a, a comb. Make sure it's a wild tooth comb though. And if you've made it this far, this should be your completed look. I call this the um, toss out of bed tussle. You know what I'm saying? But this is the finished look. This is how it should look. You should have that tousled bed head for sure. You Thank you, thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end. Y'all don't know how much I appreciate y'all. Let me know what type of videos y'all want from, what type of videos? Let me know what type of videos that you guys would like to see from me because y'all, I'm kind of lost in this influencer YouTuber world. So I need to know what y'all want to see from me so that I can cater to y'all's needs and likes and wants and all that, all that, all that, all that. So yeah, y'all. Until next time. We got to come up with a name too, y'all. Like, what should we call ourselves? Like, Cami Squad? No, let's get a... Mm, um, I don't know. Tell me, <laughs> give me some uh, name ideas down below, y'all, because we coming up with a squad name because my tribe is solid, okay? And until next time, my beautiful, beautiful lovelies, 